<laughs> oh man. How do you come up with um ideas, Kevin? The worm. The Were little you just worm on, in there? like all express <laughs> the worm. <laughs> the worm. <laughs> Were you just on all the worms? The worms. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, I don't think I would be comfortable. Did you see how much it costs in the video or no? Uh, no, but it was it cost about $11,000. So, you know, if I was on Ali, Alibaba or AliExpress, it's the uh, same Baba. thing. But I, I think I don't know if I'd be super comfortable sending $11,000 to a company who claims they're going to be sending me a two kilowatt fiber laser. Like, Yeah, and especially this company was the first, like, their first sale, apparently. But they had it marked as, like... <laughs> ready to ship because a lot of times there's like a month or two long lead <laughs> yeah. time so i'm like well they said that theirs is ready to ship so i'll buy it from them it was not ready to ship and it it would took them like a month to get it on the boat so and then oh my god then the whole debacle to get it off the boat oh yeah i got stuck in the panama canal it was stuck waiting to go through there's like if you look at a satellite map of all the ships waiting to go through the panama oh, yeah. canal there's like you know hundreds of them that are stationed that are just like anchored off the yeah coast you know, this requires a, a civil engineer to destroy the geography. We can make, <laughs> make an even bigger canal. <laughs> they do that because the water level is different, right? What would happen if uh, they just yeah. made a big canal? I was, I've been wondering that too. In the Panama Canal? Yeah, like if they took the Panama Canal and just trenched it, pulled every, pulled all the locks out, <laughs> just let nature yeah. do its thing. <laughs> would that be bad? <laughs> well, it, I mean, it would take a tremendous amount of excavation just to get the the canal low enough to be able to do that mm. but then also yeah wait is the water level that that different what's do you know off the top of your head like the difference oh it's not that different i think it's i don't know i would guess like 20 feet 30 feet maybe but it's not like all of the water from the pacific ocean would drain into the no i mean there there might be slight differences that cause some some flow from one side to the other but it's would it be just like, a, it would be a consistent flow? So like well, I think it would, it would go just back and always... forth as the tide comes in and out. Yeah, yeah, as oh, like the local local water level elevations change on either side. How much do you know about canals? I mean, a decent amount. So like, does one side get higher than the other? Like, does it switch back and forth or is it always one direction? I mean, I don't know about the specific oh God, tidal my... changes in those areas, no, I but think I have like... to assume that it, that it, each you know that it one is higher than the other sometimes, and okay. the opposite sometimes. I know. Yeah, very I mean, little if you about have canals. like two giant pools of water, yeah. and then there's like a kind of a narrow channel between them, and right. the, the moon's going overhead, it's going to pull one up higher, and as it's going <laughs> across, all that water is going to try to go into the lower pool. Right. And since it's like you know a narrow canal, right, I think right, it's right. going to be like so kind of a bigger tidal wave. To the, that makes sense. I don't know. I'm not a Tidal scientist, no, that's but, accurate. Yeah. I feel like you need to know about space and tides <laughs> and civil engineering. This is a pretty wide <laughs> skill set required to uh, I mean, truly understand a canal. The big reason the Panama Canal has locks is because how of how much excavation it would take right. to get the canal low enough that yeah. you could go through it. Oh, all the way. that makes a lot of sense. Okay, okay, that because it's like hard rock. Right. I mean, it was already an incredible feat of engineering. Right, the, way, right. the way it was built and to do that would have been like practically impossible okay impractical engineering so impractical, you're saying there's yeah. a chance <laughs> you should have a second channel. I, if have we started when we built it we could have done it it could have been done by now that's yeah. true you know but that but the other issue is all the local streams and rivers i mean those are a main source of water for panama and so yeah, but how else are we going to get all the, like, I, you know, yeah. folding chairs and stuff? Think about my laser welder. <laughs> yeah, how yeah, would the laser welder get here? <laughs> yeah. You know, I just, this is the price I'm willing to pay. <laughs> <laughs>